back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In this video, let's see how do you add a function to an object. See, we have talked about objects, we have talked about functions and then we know the basics of it, right? See, every object will have two things. We have talked only about one thing there. Uh, so an uh, object will have the data, an object will also have the behavior. See, as an object, right, as a human or an alien, uh, we are the object, right? So we have two things. We know something and we do something. We know something because of the data which, you, which is stored here. Uh, the property values and the names of your friends, the favorite movie, the concepts which you learn in JavaScript, everything is stored here. And the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you dance is all your behavior, right? And the way you behave is sometimes depend upon the way the things you know, right? So these two things are related to each other, what you know and what you do. So what you know is with the help of variables and what you do is with the help of functions. So an object will also have the function, right? But then we don't call them as a function, we call them as a method. It's ultimately a function, but technically we call it as a method, okay? So how do we do that? Uh, so first of all, let me remove the code. And in this code, basically, we will be creating an object which we have done earlier, the same object. Oh, let's go for a different object this time. Let's go for laptop. Yes, we have worked with laptop, but it was a part of the alien object, right? But this time, let's create a laptop object outside. And the way you do is very simple. You say let uh, laptop and then equal to you. You want to get an object here, right? So we'll use a uh, curly bracket open close. There are different ways of creating object. We have seen uh, one. This is the second way. Uh, so what we'll do now is we got this object, right, which is laptop, uh, let laptop. And here, let me create some properties. Okay, now what are the properties we need? So let's go with CPU. So the value for CPU, let's say, is i9. And then we'll also mention the RAM. So in this case, let's say RAM is 16 GB. And then what else you need? Maybe you or we can also go for the brand name. We'll say HP. So basically, we got an object, right? And I want to add a function here. Now, as I mentioned before, we will call it as a method, but ultimately that's a function, right? Now, how do we do it? Now, first of all, even the method will be a property, right? So let's mention the property name here. So maybe I want to add a function which will print hello world. As of now, let's go with that. So I want to get a function inside this laptop which will print hello world. So the way you can do that is by saying get value. Or maybe we can also say greet just to keep it simple. And this greet will have a function, right? So we have to give a colon, not equal to, we have to give a colon. The same thing we have done for the function expression, right? We have to use a variable name and then we give a equal to, then we mention the function, right? Here also we have to mention the property, then we'll say function. And then we can perform the operation here. What I want to do here is I want to say return or maybe I can just print hello world. Okay, so we got a function here, right? And then we have some issue here. Okay, and the issue is we forgot to put a comma. So as I mentioned before, you know, comma is very important here. So we can also put a comma at the end, uh, which will not give you any error, but we, if we add a new next property, it will get resolved automatically. Right. Okay, anyway, so once you got this, how do we execute this? It's very simple. The way you do it for the function, we just have to say greet and we have to give the round back it. That's it. But what do you think? Will it work? Let's try. So I'll go back here and I'll let me execute this. I will say node space app.js. So when you say enter, you can see we got an error. Now, why there's an error here? It's because we are trying to call this greet function and it's not defined because it is inside this laptop object, right? So basically, this is a method here, not a simple function. It's a method which belongs to an object. So that object is a laptop here. So we have to say laptop.greet. Okay, let me just run this code once again and let's see what happens. And you can see we got hello world. So basically a function or a method belongs to the object here, which is laptop. And if you want to call it, you have to use the object name. Now, of course, with this function, you can pass some parameters, you can return some values and we'll see that later. But as of now, we are trying to create a function or a method inside the object. And you can create multiple functions here. So you can say greet, you can say uh, get me the values or you can say calculate the speed of a machine or do the benchmark, everything. Just add multiple functions. And uh, one thing to remember, they are called methods. But yes, even if you call function, no one will kill you for that. So methods are function, the same thing. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.